Let's say that you have a situation where you want the smoke condition to get worse over time. What I'm going to do is go here, it starts with light smoke. I'm going to say, add in, let's say, a turbulent smoke pattern. And let me say that this turbulent smoke is going to develop after about five seconds. Now, I have over here a little mask element which hides parts of the smoke and fire. I'm going to click on it. So I'm going to also put that turbulent smoke which to mask, and I'm going to say the, that turbulent smoke there. So if I actually run this right now, I'm just going to get the dark smoke. But I want that dark smoke to fade in over time, let's say over five seconds. So I'm going to click over at the dark smoke. I'm going to go to the pencil here and say delay timing, fade in when, and I'm just going to put in fade in five seconds. You can go up to 30 seconds, and if you need more than 30 seconds, you just select the value and type in, let's say, 60 seconds. We won't use the slider anymore, but that'll go 60 seconds from the start of the scenario. So right now, I'm going to just put five seconds in here, hit done, press play, in three, two, one, here's the smoke that shows up. Now, I don't want it to, let's say, just pop in like that. I want to actually have it gradually come in. So what I use is another parameter in there. I click on the smoke, and I click on the pencil tool, and I say delay timing fade in duration. So fade in when is when the smoke should start showing up. Fade in duration is how long should it take to become fully involved. So I'm going to say over about two seconds. So by seven seconds, five plus two, then the smoke will be fully involved. So here's about two, three, four, Five. Here comes the smoke, and there it's now. I can certainly do the same thing with fire. Other elements. Every element will have that same will have that same delay timing. So I put, I'm going to put fire in here now. As well, I'm going to have it cut off. I'm going to select the mask. Which to mask? I'm going to also mask the fire. I'm going to now say I'm done with editing the mask. I'm going to go back to edit the fire. I'm going to go here and say delay timing, fade in when. Let's say it's going to fade in after, let's say, 4.5 seconds. And instead of having it, the duration being a long time, I'm going to make it fade in over about 0.2 seconds. So when I run this here, the fire is going to precede that dark smoke. Almost like someone's venting the roof. And that's basically how you make things evolve. Now, the timing has to do with the overall scenario. It's not just when I'm actually looking at the picture. So for example, let's go over. Let me show you actually. In this scenario, I have this view, and then I go over to another view with the light smoke and victim. Now let's actually make the victim disappear after some time instead of show up. So let's say that that victim is on the roof for five seconds and then is no longer on the roof anymore. Maybe collapses, maybe goes somewhere else. What I can do is go over to that picture. I can select that victim. And now in that, I can say delay timing. Now, I don't have a fade out when, fade out in, fade out duration until I click fade out. Now, when I actually click on fade out and I go back to delay timing, now I have fade out when and fade out duration. So I'm going to make him leave the scene after about five seconds. So what that means is, let's watch over here. If I go back to my initial location, and I press play, and I go immediately over here, he's there. But if I come back there, now we're at our five second mark, and I go back, he's not there anymore. He disappeared at the five second. So if you notice also, what we caught the end of this is that the timing goes whether or not you're actually looking at the picture. So if we go here and reset, Let's say I'm doing my 360. I now go over to this other west corner. I'm doing my thing. The victim goes away. When I come back, since that seven seconds has already passed, the scenario has already evolved. And so you can make your scenarios evolve over 10, 20, 30 seconds or longer. If you need to make it over minutes, in the menu here, we have something called set scenario time. This lets you advance the clock. We were at 26 seconds. So let's say I wanted to advance the clock to 120 seconds or something. I click that. I click OK. And now this is what the scenario would be like at 120 seconds. 
I can also go back and set scenario time to reset it to say what would it be like at two seconds. There is at two seconds, and we'll see in just a couple seconds it does the transition. So easy to create this evolving over time.